Howdy folks, Jörg here from Dreamland Resort. Today we're going to be talking about gamma radiation around Area 51 and here in Rachel. The recent Gothic fire that burned for over a week inside the ranges destroyed over 35,000 acres of radioactive contaminated forest. Unfortunately, the prevailing winds blew the ashes and the smoke right here over Rachel. So there are some concerns in town. Today we want to take some measurements in different areas with our handy little Geiger counter here and see where the radiation is at. At the end of this video, I'm going to do a test that I've been wanting to do for quite a while now. So stay with me. This table shows the historic data from our Rachel weather station, including gamma radiation. As you can see, most days it sits right at 15, 16 microram per hour, which equals 0 0.015 milliram per hour. Only on the 9th, at the height of the fire, all of a sudden the value spiked to 52 microram per hour. What was going on? Let's take a look at some graphs here. Here is a graph for the whole month of July. We can see how it sits right around 15, 16, and only on the 9th it spikes to over 50 microam per hour. This graph for July 9 shows how the radiation all of a sudden spiked just after 9 a.m., sat there for a while, and then came back down to background radiation. That is extremely unusual. In over 20 years here in Rachel, I have never seen a spike like that. So I think that's reason enough to do some more investigating. Before we go, let's take a quick look at our Geiger counter here. My friend Pat lent it to me for this video. You can buy it on Amazon for less than $100, and I'm going to put a link in the description. The value we want to be looking at is the rate in milliram per hour. The current dosage is about 0 0.15, 0 0.14, 0 0.16. That is about the normal background radiation here in Rachel. So let's see how it goes once we're in the field. Our first stop is the Rachel weather station. I want to compare the readings of the weather station with our counter to see how accurate the reading of the counter is. I'm sure the weather station has a calibrated probe. So that's a pretty good reference. Let's take a look. So here's the weather station. And it looks like this is the gamma radiation probe. So that's our reference. And we know the station reads about 0 0.015 milliram per hour. So let's see what our counter tells us. Uh, it's kind of hard to read. Let's see if I can get some shade going here. So our counter says 0 0.012 milliram per hour. We know that the probe reads about point. 015 so we're in the same ballpark here uh, i don't know if you can read this and yeah, now we're going up to 0 0.015 0 0.016 so that's right where the probe is of the um, weather station 0 0.016 so yeah we are right on the money looks like our counter is doing all right and we are ready to go get some readings. Our next stop is the Area 51 back gate. On the way out here, I've listened to the 99.9 .9 MHz FM radio station that is transmitting from this tower. You can probably see it ahead, just inside the back gate of Area 51. But that is not why we are here today. The back gate of Area 51 is about the closest spot on public land to the area where the fire was. So if there is any residual radiation from the fallout during the fire, it would probably be in this area. 
So let's take a look at our counter. And by the way, I was able to bump up the brightness a little bit, so hopefully you can see it a little better. And we are seeing 0 0.017, 0 0.016, so just slightly more than in Rachel, but really nothing to be worried about. Let's walk around a little bit, see if the reading changes at all. Eh. 0 0.015. 0 0.018, I think I just saw. Eh. So, pretty much the same readings that we see in Rachel. So, there doesn't seem to be a lot of fallout in this area. There's another area at Queen City Summit that is supposed to have some radiation. So. Next, I'm going to go up there and uh, take a look what the radiation reading says up there. Here we are at Queen City Summit, about 15 miles north of Rachel. This area is supposed to have some elevated gamma radiation, so I came up here to get a reading. Let's take a look. So we have, let's see, 0 0.018, 0 0.017. 0 0.016, just slightly elevated over what we see in Rachel, but really nothing to worry about. Let's see what the ground says, put it on the ground. Yeah, 0 0.018, 0 0.016, 0 0.017. Yep, yeah, I guess it's safe up here. Yeah, 0 0.019. It is safe up here. Well, off to the next spot. I just drove a little over 30 miles from Queen City Summit, past Rachel, and over Coyote Summit to the Black Mailbox. There is the current iteration. I had the counter running the whole time, and although I'm seeing slightly elevated values here in Tikabu Valley. At no point did I see more than about 0 0.022 microram per hour. And let's see what we got here in the mailbox. Uh, what do we have here? Well, look at that. 0 0.008. Is that what I'm seeing? So, I think at this point, it is pretty safe to say that there's no elevated radiation from the fallout from the fire. So, it is totally safe. If you want to visit this area, don't worry about radiation. There is one more test I want to do when I get back to the house. So, stay with me. I have one more test for you. My tap water comes straight out of my well. And I'm curious how much radiation is in the, our groundwater. So let's take a look. Well, 0 0.012, that is even less than the ambient background radiation. 0 0.013, 0 0.012. That is absolutely safe. So, no reason to worry about the groundwater here in Rachel. Well, I think that's it for today. I think you see that it's totally safe here, no radiation to worry about. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Cheers.